the high school that I went to gave out one award to one student each month of the school year. This award was usually given to a student whom the school determined had gone above and beyond to set an example for the rest of the students. Well, there was one time that I got the award for doing practically nothing. The time that I got the award was when I was a freshman in high school. Every day I sat at the same table with the same group of friends during my lunch period. This day was no different, or at least it didn't start out any different. I opened my lunchbox and I probably had a peanut butter and jelly sandwich, which I had every day. While I was sitting at the lunch table, I sort of heard across the lunchroom that there was a dispute. There was a boy with special needs who did not want to go to his next class, but his teacher's aide was trying to convince him to leave and go somewhere. His teacher's aide said, come on, bring your lunch with you and you can eat it while you're working. The boy angrily yelled, no, and then he started storming through the cafeteria. My lunch table was at least six tables away from his table, and I had never met this guy before in my life. However, as he stomped through the cafeteria, I could tell that he was getting closer to me until suddenly I could see in my peripheral vision that he was standing next to me. He raised his foot into the air. He Spartan kicked me out of my seat. And for a moment, I laid on the ground with my sandwich still in my hand, and I thought, what do I do now? I considered, well, I'm not actually hurt, and I just want to eat my lunch. So I just climbed up off the floor, sat back down in my chair, and kept eating my sandwich. I didn't even look at the kid because I wasn't mad and I was just sort of reacting in the best way that I knew how. All of my friends at my lunch table were smiling at me because I literally had no response to what just happened. Before too long, the teacher's aide ran over to me and exclaimed, Oh my goodness, are you okay? To which I responded, Yeah, I'm fine, it's okay. Then some other old man who was also a lunch monitor came over and he said, How's your kidney? And I was sort of confused why he asked this about my specific organ but I responded uh yeah I think my kidney is good and then he said okay well just be careful because who knows if he kicked your kidney that could be bad I was still confused but I just said yeah thanks I think the teacher's aide made the boy who kicked me apologize to me he said sorry and I knew that he didn't mean to hurt me and I said it was fine during my next class, the teacher got a phone call, and after hanging up, he said, Marlon, go to the principal's office. A lot of my classmates actually had different lunch times than I did, so they were surprised and started saying things like, Ooh, Marlon, what'd you do? And I just said, Oh, probably something really bad. And then I walked out of the classroom to go to the office. When the principal let me into his office, he was trying to act like I was in trouble. He said, So, Marlon, can you tell me what you think you're in here for? I said, Yeah, it's probably because I got kicked out of my chair at lunch today. And the principal said, yes, that's right. And I heard that you didn't fight back. That's amazing. Because I have to admit that if I was a student in that situation, I would have punched him right in the face. I don't care who he is. Okay. Wow. The principal basically went on to tell me that I was being given the school award for that month. My prize consisted of a school t-shirt, a free ice cream at lunch, and I would have my picture put on the wall of the principal's office for the rest of the school year. So, that's the story of how I won an award by basically doing nothing. Thanks for watching, I hope you liked this video. Thumbs up or thumbs down the video, or maybe if you want to subscribe. Don't ever, for any reason, do anything to anyone, for any reason, ever. That's pretty much what I did, and I got an award. See you next time.